Hello and welcome to Play PKN, the weekly video bulletin of the top news stories on PKN Packaging News, Australia's media hub for the packaging industry. I'm PKN's publisher, Lindy Hewson, and this week's bulletin is brought to you by Ball and Doggett, Australia's largest distributor of printable materials and consumables. First up in the news, tube manufacturer Impact International hosted a tree planting day for customers at the Belmont Forest, its carbon offset forest, near Canberra, Canberra earlier this week. This was attended by Minister for Climate Change and Energy Chris Bowen, who expressed strong support of Impact's efforts to lighten its footprint. PKN attended the event along with a strong contingent of skin care and personal care brand owners to assist with the planting of 8,500 trees. Speaking to PKN, Bowen said there are many companies doing great things in sustainability, but Alex and his team at Impact take it to the next level. Since Impact announced the Carbon Offset Forest Initiative, 19 customers have signed on to the program and occupy 19 out of the 20 lots into which the forest has been divided. Now, according to MD Alex Leavik, based on a standard extruded plastic tube that holds 100 mils of product, the impact forest can offset the raw materials used to manufacture around 30 million 100 mil tubes each year. Then major printing operation IVE is aiming to enter the packaging market in the near term as the company saw all its figures rise in its full year results. Following a strategic review, IVE will now move more aggressively into the packaging sector and is actively seeking an appropriate acquisition to expedite the strategy with 30 to 40 million allocated to fund this and any other earnings accretive opportunities. Now, in other brand and industry news, local tech startup Seller, which has had success in creating digital connection platforms for labels for wine brands like Evans and Brothers, um, Evans and Tate, Brown Brothers, and Brokenwood, will be representing Australia in Avery Denison's inaugural Global Labels Industry Partnership Program, AD Stretch Accelerator. It is one of only nine startups selected from across the globe. And Graphic Packaging International has launched Clip Combo, a modular system that offers beverage makers and packers the ability to apply two different clip style packs with a single machine. This is for multi packs. It can achieve top line speeds of up to 400 packs per minute, depending on application and configuration. Multivac Marking and Inspection has launched two more high quality and sustainable labeling solutions to its portfolio for fresh produce trays. The Top Wrap, which involves applying a label to the top and both sides of the tray, and Top Close, which seals the tray closed simply and securely on the top and is labels it at the same time. Then boutique creative design agency Jam & Co worked with Naomi to create a new distinct visual identity for Australia's own dairy milk and plant milk brands, which are packed in Tetra Pak cartons. The design brief was to create a brand and packaging that was more distinct, modern, natural and uplifting, and to link that to Australia. Moving on to events, the Australian Waste and Recycling Expo was held this week in Sydney, offering a two-day live experience for the local waste and recycling community. PKN was there to visit exhibitors like Pack Trading and Perfect Automation, to mention a few, and attend seminar sessions. On the Australian Institute of Packaging stand, we spoke to Executive Director Nera de Kelton, who told PKN that the association was pleased to have been a part of the event, where it had presented three seminar sessions, as well as the Flexible Packaging Training Course, very important education. PKN attended a seminar and panel discussion on the Australasian Recycling Label Program for SMEs, where we learned more about the way to work with supply chains and stakeholders to help facilitate ARL uptake and drive the development of a true circular economy for sustainable packaging. Um, this was facilitated by a panel chaired by APCO Sarah Sannon with panellists Leslie Fox from APCO, Ebony Johnson from the Australian Food and Grocery Council and Nera de Kelton from the AIP. We also discovered more about the future of packaging for product stewardship in Australia at a seminar hosted by Peter Brisbane. Um, he's the Government Partnership Manager at APCO and he outlined the history and gave some perspectives on stewardship and stressed that we are now at a critical point in determining its direction and role in driving the systemic changes needed to deliver a circular economy for packaging in Australia all around a worthwhile event. Well, that's all from me this week. Head to our website, packagingnews.com.au to see these and other stories. And you'll also find there the digital version of the latest issue of PKN. Thanks for watching.